later construct a universe teeming with imperfection, misery, sin. Among the scholars of both heaven and hell, this query is known as the Riddle of Sorrows. If sin is itself a part of the grand design, is not sin, then, by definition, divine? A question for the sages. No one particularly restless bunch kept a robust relationship to the topic. The Nephilim. Spawn of angels and demons. Warriors, relentless, unstoppable, blood man. Until they were betrayed by four of their own. War, death, fury, and strife. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. Inconceivable power was bestowed upon the traitors by those sworn to maintain symmetry, twixt order and chaos. The Charred Council. Bear witness as the Council holds court to end Nephilim War in the name of Balance. This is the new pact. War, bringer of worldwide fire. You are the juggernaut of all pain. Death, dark soul of eternity. You are the deepest decay. You are anti-life. Strife, endless spirit of timeless unrest. You are all that is unsettled in the hearts of that which lives and breathes. And finally, fury, terrible engine of rage. You are the machine that. Are we to waste our time on ceremony or are we to fight? Step forward and recognize, horseman. You are the most impatient of your kin. The least predictable, dancing on the edge of your own reality. Your brothers understand the undertaking set before them. But do you? Still talking! Shall I have Death fetch us some tea, or can we get on with it? Fury, your role in this story is yet to be written. I wonder. Will you light the flame of creation anew? Or stomp out the embers for good? <laughs> Dreams more thrilling than reality. Had I known the new pact would be so exciting, I would have let walls separate my head from my neck then and there. Is it possible to die of boredom? <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am. Perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. The call? Finally. Please, please, please tell me you're a planet of demons that needs slain. Or two. War. What pathetic fate have you brought upon yourself, brother? Watch your tongue. <laughs> I may be least favored of all the horsemen, but my tongue never found me chained to a rock like some dog. Fury, approach us. I take it there is a mess that needs tending to. Though you jest, you speak true. War has broken his vows to this council and shattered the Seventh Seal. <sighs> the Apocalypse. Why would he... We know not. Yet. As we speak, Earth falls beneath the spears of Heaven and the hammers of Hell. 
So the horsemen are to ride. No. While the Charred Council seeks to understand how and why the traitor war has committed this abominable act, there is a matter that requires delicate attention. You should have called Strife. He's the delicate one. The seven deadly sins have been released. By whom we cannot say. But the seven roam the earth, free of our prison. The balance between order and chaos is already in jeopardy. The seven cannot be left unchecked. War is in chains. Death is missing. Strife attends to other matters. The last time you faced the sins, it required all four of you. I can handle those fools in my sleep. But when this task is complete, I demand that you grant me my rightful place leading the horsemen. If you would trade obedience for a title, so be it. But never make a demand upon us, horsemen. You depart immediately. Greetings, Miss Fury. I must admit, this is a fortuitous fate. A Watcher? You doubt my allegiance? Please, be not cross. I am such an admirer. Scratch that. I'm a fan. You are the horseman. The only one that matters. Enough! I will allow you to accompany me. Just stay out of my way. I will be as unto a shadow. Steadfast. Silent. More silence! Go! Seek out the place called Haven. Your quest for the Seven Deadly begins there. Fury. Wait. I... Whatever has passed between us, search your heart. You cannot believe I am guilty of these crimes. Something is wrong with the universe. Be vigilant, Fury. Forces conspire against us. Keep my words! Haven for what, vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Quite the grudge you're carrying. What they have, I will take. <laughs> when they have nothing left, they will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No!
<laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. supposed to catch envy I did this talisman it's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. I would be remiss in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the Talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding Envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also, by far, the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both Heaven and Hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. I knew that war would one day unleash all this, but seeing it, <laughs> his gifts are impressive. May I remind you, Mistress, that you have no peer among your horsemen, brethren. That tree, it's impressive, but is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely, we will find refuge there. Aren't we making a mighty ruckus? Says the demon who announces his ambush. Ah, it was not my intention to do battle, horseman. Ah, well, such a passionate little thing, aren't we? Do not test my patience. Very well. War is too hazardous an occupation for myself, horseman. I am here in the name of blind capitalism. I am Vulgrim, merchant of the damned, a trader who deals in souls for profit. Even in the face of the apocalypse, one must endeavor to earn a living. And whose souls do you trade in? Angel, demon, or even human. All souls have value to me. I've seen the trail of bodies you've left in your wake. What would I require from you? That depends. What are your needs? Information. The seven deadly sins. Whispers on the wind say that the fabled horsemen are but pawns in a larger game. Victims of a grand setup. What do you know? I know that the first one's free. Call for me if you have souls to trade, and perhaps you will consider my wares valuable. Behind me, we ones! 
Let me tend to our uninvited guests. A horseman? Fury. Currently reserving the right to kill you where you stand. And you are? Surprised. And more than a little relieved. Call me Ulfame Blackhammer. So, you'll not be flattening me today? Hmm. A maker, are you not? Aye, when there's something to make. Today, my skills are only aimed towards instruments of death. This is not your war. No, not theirs neither. Like your counsel, I care for balance, horsemen. Humans, frail as they be, are part of the balance. Surely you're here to help protect them. <sighs> Wrong question. <laughs> A tribe of useless, hairless simians whose greatest talent was inventing ingenious new ways to divide and destroy one another. They could suffer forever or die tomorrow, and I wouldn't bat an eye either way. Then what is your business here? What do they call you? Jones. Jones. Question me again with your last breath. <laughs> Look around. Look what's happened here. Do you honestly think anything scares me now? Easy, lad. This one's none for trifles. Yeah? What do I have to lose? This moronic conflict makes you all look so stupid! Angel, demon, horseman, even maker! What are you even fighting for, huh? Tell me! I like this one. You may continue breathing, Jones. Horseman, please. To have you on our side would turn the tide in ways we cannot measure. Humanity might stand a chance. While my mission does involve balance, it does not require them. I am here to root out the seven deadly sins and return them to the Council. No less, no more. What if I can help you? That by the chain you carry could use some work? I sincerely doubt that. I'm faring quite well without any help. <sighs> of course. But in case you missed the moniker, I am a maker who specializes in instruments of destruction, chaos, and the deliverance of pain. So it stands to reason that we little Ulfane could enhance your arsenal if your horsemanship would give me the chance. In exchange for? Humanity will not survive without aid. If you come across any humans on your journey, please direct them here. Haven is the only place they might be sufficiently protected. Direct them? How do you expect the apes to cross a battlefield and find you? Oh, I don't. They'll need this, the bridge. Only humans can use it. One touch, they're sent to Haven. Must I touch them? I accept your offer, Maker. Though I doubt it will make your collection any less useless. <laughs> we have a non-deal, then. As a show of good faith, a gift. Wrath. Where? You seek a pit of Hellstretch set in the nether, beneath the city. And please, horsemen. Yes, yes. I will shepherd the wee ones your way, pointless as it may be. We'll see. And remember, Fury, the doors of Haven stand open to any who ask. He is certainly committed to his cause. Ulthane, he is blind to what truly matters. Perhaps, yes. Just another pawn who will never understand the game into which he's been played. And he does love the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Not like anyone I know. Did you say something? Please, no, just, 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 just kill me. Oh, I... stop your blubbering, human. Come to me. Now! Do you want to live? 
What? What? If you want to live, I can send you to a safe place. Safe as any, I suppose. Touch it. Idiots. It's a miracle they ruled the Earth for as long as they did. Ah, music to my ears. Feel the burn of the display! <laughs> Dismembering angels. We all need a hobby. I hope you've left something for me. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> Fire crawl, witch! Oh, that is unfortunate. We were set up. War. The others. There are greater forces at work here. Watcher, help. Mistress! Something is wrong with the world. Delicate order is imbalanced. Step four. Now I ask of both angel and demon. Do you arrive here of your own free will? The tenants of the Hollowing demand it. I do, Lord of the Hollows. As do I. You have both fought this war since the dawn. Time. You are weary. Yet, immortality prevents the ultimate respite. The Lord of the Hollows alone can bestow upon you this gift. The final release. No longer will your souls be recycled time and time again to fight for heaven and hell. They are now Exactly where I am. The stench betrays you. 
The Hollows is a hell all its own. Indeed. But it is one that I alone rule. What did you do to them? Nothing that they did not wish for. <laughs> you wear your ignorance on your face. The true consequences of this so-called war for balance are beyond your comprehension. Perhaps I should hollow you. A watcher. This only confirms what I already held to be true. You are just a puppet. The Council is playing you to further their own machinations. Enough! Unlike you, I have not come to this place for personal gain. The seven deadly sins must be eliminated once and for all to protect the balance you mock. I will not be deterred. She speaks the truth, O oh Lord. And she is tenacious, to say the least. Your words carry no weight with me. They stink of lies. <sighs> Prove your commitment to balance. This is more than a test of battle. A demonstration, horseman. You are so quick to combat. Your whip ready to crack. True righteousness requires true insight. If this was a test, you have failed. To resist a call to raw impulse <laughs> is a different type of strength. Spare your wisdom. I know my strength, and when I prove it to the Council, I alone will lead the horsemen. The Seven will be destroyed, along with their designs for a world far more hideous than the Apocalypse we already know. Very well. You will need this. A Flame Hollow? For what purpose? Even I am aware that there are times when sides must be chosen. Take this weapon, and know that I have chosen mine. But take heed, horseman. The universe has so many faces. Your survival depends on what you have learned here. You must open your eyes to much more than that which gazes back at you from the mirror. Fine. Can we go now? Not quite here. There is the matter of Abraxas to discuss. Abraxas. The demon meddler. If Earth is to remain intact, he must be dealt with. He threatens your balance. His very soul must be brought to me. I see. And you want me to do it? Who better? I'll consider it. No guarantees. And you, and your Watcher, be gone! <laughs> the Fire Hollow. Something changes when I hold it. I can feel its power coursing through my hands. I feel nothing, <laughs> like wading through a pond. Ah, Fury! How kind of you to pay me a visit. I trust the slaying is going well. None of your concern, demon. Your tone betrays you, horseman. You see, I was right after all, yes? You and your kin have been deceived. That's no secret. But by who? 
Surely angels are the most likely suspect. Wouldn't you agree after what happened to dear old Rampage? You are not fit to speak his name. No need to unleash your might on me, horseman. Look to those who would benefit from your failure. Your enemies are closer than you think. Interesting. These chambers seem out of place. They are old. Neither of heaven nor hell, to be sure. Early humans, perhaps. Perhaps. I'm a clever thing, mistress. But even I do not know everything. Especially when it comes to the minds of men. I think that's our way out. Really? When the massive statue moves its massive arms, so as to create a massive bridge to the exit, you think it's our way out? I was just excited. You don't have to be mean about it. Actually, I do. Mistress. Easy. Do you hear it? This is not what we seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. You owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Easy, child. Easy. I can lead you to others like you. Humans. Won't that be nice? What manner of hoarder do we have here? Mistress, your talisman. Be wary. There wasn't much that the humans got right. But they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now. Here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just saying... <laughs> Some people have no appreciation of the finer things in life. Avarice. Fury. <laughs> Welcome to my Hall of Treasures. Unfortunately, you forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch! Enjoy your collection, Avarice. For one final time! Do you know what that art is worth? One sinner's life. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Oh, Philistine. like I had a choice in the matter. Do you kidnap all your guests? You would not be so disrespectful if you knew the true power I give you. Your battle with Avarice proved you value your mission above material possessions. You are ready for stronger tools of destruction. Another toy for me to play with. You're far too generous. The Storm Hollow. It wisely. Why not give me all your gifts and get it over with? If you're so keen to arm one of the horsemen. Be gone. <laughs> what are you doing there? 
Where did you think you're taking her? Mistress, how do you feel? Uh, not great. Uh, the, the harvester? It would appear you have been saved for later. An afternoon snack, perhaps. Mistress, your talisman. We're close. This time you watch. You do not speak. Your day of reckoning is at hand, Sloth. You will be judged in combat like all the others. Darling, please. Do I look like I'll be fighting anything or anyone anytime soon? You have no choice. There's always a choice, darling. I choose not to choose. Too much of a bother. I'd laugh at you, but it's too much effort. Don't take offense, you're playing your part well in our wee morality play. But really, why bother? It's the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm completely over it. My sole concern is comfort. That sounds familiar. Mouth! And as you can see, I have my many minions for that. <laughs> it's all they live for. You should try it. I've spot you a few slaves if you'll just relax. I shall, once you and your kin lie dead. I only hope the rest put up more of a fight than you! <laughs> Let them stand or fall. It matters not to me. You understand, don't you, horseman? The futility of it. Why not join me? Take a load off and enjoy the nothingness. I bet you'd take to it quite easily. Would you abandon your mission? No! <laughs> Is that so? The Great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? Less tiring than taking no action at all. Most exercise he's had in a millennium. <laughs> Whoa. 
What is it? Something about this place. Oh? Huh? You wish to repent for your sins? I will not waver to cleave the Watcher head from your Watcher body. Less sarcasm. Noted, mistress. Shield your eyes! Too bright. What is that? Well, well, well. Imagine my disappointment. To think that this is the best the Council has to offer. Of the fabled Four Horsemen, they send the lowliest, the most pathetic of all. Pride, charming as ever. I've come for you. <laughs> oh, really? As if you'd know what to do with me if you could have me. Please, spare me. Are you not one of the great seven deadly? Fight me instead of cowering, you pompous, pathetic Your excuse! Your are a waste of breath, horsemen. No more an annoyance than the buzzing of a fly. Beneath my notice, like everything else in the Creator's grand experiment, even the greatest treasures of heaven and hell pale beneath my light. Scurry back to the hole you were born from. Perhaps when I am the only sin left on this sad little rock, you will be worthy of an audience with me. When I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. So you say. Considering your current state, I find it highly unlikely that we'll ever meet again. But by the rare chance, you do earn my favor. Find me in Ares. Though I highly doubt a creature such as yourself would be welcome in a place so refined. I encourage you to surprise me, horsemen. Until that time... What an insufferable creature. I will never understand their attachment to such things. Mistress. They cling so desperately to this iconography. The symbolism of heaven and hell. They? Humanity. For thousands of years, they held the fruit of creation in their hands. But ignored it to squabble over totems and fables. Whatever the creator saw in them. Mistress, you seem distracted. We horsemen are defined by a great many things. Our mission, our gifts, and our solitude. For so long, I cannot even remember. Rampage was my only companion. Mistress, I... Forget it. The horseman is not defined by the horse. Look up ahead, mistress. What is that? Probably something new to kill. Oh, man! Oh, they're adorable! In what realm is this considered adorable? Perhaps that's an overstatement, but it is innocent. Nothing in this world is innocent. At least your adorable monster served a purpose. Harsh? Even for you, mistress. There's a fair bit more noise around here of late. Thanks to you, you've given humanity a chance. And in kind, I have a gift for you. This trinket will enhance your raw power, making you an even more formidable threat. This trek would be much easier on horseback. Too soon. Again, you're here to watch, not to speak. Oh, I'm here for much more than that. Is dying on your agenda? A threat. I haven't decided yet. I smell pigeon. 
What angels remain call this their nest. For now, it will be their tomb if I don't learn the truth about Rampage. Enough! Oh. Your rage is misplaced, Horseman. I sincerely doubt it, Bird. Ocel! Here to finish the job your brother war began? I have no idea what war did or did not do, nor do I care. So, you're here to steal the souls of my fellow angels, then? You think I don't recognize a weapon of the Lord of the Hollows? I serve none but the Council. I hunt the seven deadly sins, at least those who remain. But another task consumes me. Betrayal by your glorious kingdom! <laughs> oh, yes. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and laugh. We can hardly defend ourselves, let alone spare the energy to betray a great horse. My steed, Rampage, was slaughtered by angelic weaponry before I could summon him to Earth. I will know why, and I will have blood. Take me at my word. I have no love for the horsemen. Thanks to you, the apocalypse is at hand, and we... <sighs> I have no knowledge of any conspiracy against you, or your mission on Earth. Of his kind, Lucille is honorable. Just because he doesn't know doesn't mean it's not happening. As you can see, I have problems of my own. Perhaps we can strike a deal, Horseman. Lately, I have seen my own forces ravaged, losing more and more every day. To my horror, I have learned that my brethren are being murdered by our nightmares made real. Abominations. Undead angels. Demons are also its target, taking them into the realm of the undead as well. And who, in your estimation, is responsible? The only force in the universe capable of such a heretical act is lust. Lust? You're insane. I've crossed paths with lust before. They have no such power. <laughs> and what makes you think that the world as you've known it is the world we're now in? An unnamed demon is rumored to have bestowed upon lust the very power to take on the forces of heaven and hell. A spoiler in the apocalypse. Lust transforms angel and demon alike into the undead. Mindless things, bent only on violence and destruction. And so if I eliminate lust, thus solving your dilemma, you will in turn provide something for me. Is that the deal you propose? Indeed. If it be in my power. And to prove we mean no ill will towards you, horsemen. May this crossblade serve you well in your crusade against lust. Unchecked, her growing strength will doom us all. Find out who tried to kill me. In exchange, I will force Lust to reveal the source of their power before I destroy them. We have a pact. If I discover you have in any way lied to me, you will wish it was one of my brothers tearing out your heart. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Doubtful. Would you trust him? I'm not the one that has to. Also, trust isn't part of a Watcher's vocabulary, present company included, of course. Ugh, insufferable ghost. Daddy! Oh, hello, Fury. You're looking radiant and flush with blood rage. I have no time for you, demon. No, no, you're a very busy horseman, with people to go and places to slay, I'm sure. But I was wondering if in your bardworthy travels you happened across an artifact. Nothing special. An artifact? What does it look like? Well, it 
It's a trinket, really. A novelty crafted by the birds. Sort of a cross with pointy edges and... I may have lied. It's not a trinket. But please, cut me a break. The demon has to eat. I found it. It's mine. I'll pay you a million souls for it. Souls are your currency. Sharp objects are mine. No deal. However, you might be of service to me. Have you seen the undead angels and demons? Ah, the unlife. Sadly, yes. Those who were once beyond mortality deserve better. Now, I have no lost love for the birds, but that's just wrong. We're done, then. If you hear anything, do let me know. Does nothing shake you? Do you not feel any empathy, watching those who once loomed so large robbed of the very force they sought to control? Life. Perhaps after I find out why they're trying to kill me, I'll make time to feel sorry for them. My, my, she's cold. Intoxicating. What a hot-headed demon that is. But the gates... You think it's aware of our presence? I have no doubt, especially considering the way you carry on. Are you serious? Do you think it knows we're here? No. In fact, your shrieking clearly acts as a lullaby. Yes. Sarcasm. Which of you is worse, I wonder? Particularly lusty location, is it? Have you learned nothing? Appearances can be deceiving. And besides, lust never appears as expected. What exactly did you mean by that? The notion of sin is one thing, the concept of lust is something else entirely. Especially humanity's concept of lust. I see. As in, a lust for... You name it. The humans have quite the imagination. Lust is everything to everyone. That's what makes lust dangerous. Too dangerous, mistress? No such thing. Can you guess what I lust after? In this broken world, what is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect, just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> they aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled whip. I am above your distractions, lust. Really? The truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. 
Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort. To bring about the Apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us. Together. To wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you! Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! <laughs> what? Oh. It was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them kneel! <laughs> Let fall the blades of heaven! An archangel? Oh, you seal, you flatter me. I'll see you dead, Lust. Never to rise again! <laughs> we had a deal! Stand down! Now why would he do that? When he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me. Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Ocille! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth! The righteousness to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel, you see. Under your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. No, Usil! <laughs> Won't this be fun? Who gave you the power to raise the dead? 
the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me, and I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. Huh? But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, Alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight, but my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy shown to a filthy angel? Just as soon have your head on a pike! Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance, in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think... That's what I'm here to find out. Curious. Very curious indeed. With each new challenge, you show more depth. What do you want? Both you and I are painfully aware of the endless parade history inflicts upon us. Creatures so pathetically focused on one single purpose. But these creatures are, ironically, completely devoid of meaning. Make your point, Lord of Hollows. It's just surprising, no more. Refreshing to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding it, the raw power of force itself is yours. It... vibrates in my hand. 
I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how to use it. No, not yet! <sighs> the Lord of Hollows will never be accused of subtlety. Time to find the next sin. Are you certain? I'm just asking. Seems to me you might be going a little soft. At least that's what the Lord of Hollows appear to see in you. If you truly want to see how I have softened, question my resolve again. All I'm saying is, there's been a change. It's natural, I think, after all you've been exposed to here. What do you mean? Need I remind you, there is no absolute good. Nor is there absolute evil in the universe. Those are human concepts. The Charred Council is aware of this. It's the very reason for their continued existence. Ugh, the way you blather on. What are you trying to say? Heaven and Hell are not absolutes either. Seen with the proper perspective, they are simply two opposing forces scrambling to gain power over this sad wall of mud. It is the way of all things. Precisely. But why would they be so focused on this rock and its teeming bacteria when there is an entire cosmos to explore and to conquer? Yes, by keeping them occupied with this miserable conflict, the greater universe has a chance to remain pure. That is... A curious method for seeking balance, especially for being so powerful. Yes, very curious. So I'm just saying, if you were in doubt, I would understand. It fled into that underwater cave. We must follow. Must we? Yes. Now. Perfectly fake. Mistress! You must awaken! You must come back! Nice try, but Lust already tried that! Gluttony! Mistress! You broke my illusion! You should have remained inside your desire, horseman. It would have been more merciful than what I'll do to you. If you can reach me. Perhaps I shall disembowel you and let you watch your guts spill out in front of you. Try your best, you bloated thing. <laughs> that cocks your voice. <laughs> you think I will be an easy kill? <laughs> the easiest of all. But I'm not yet full. You know I've tried. I've been feasting. But I'm still not satisfied.
are so few surprises left in the world. Isn't that sad? At the moment, I've had enough surprises. You sound... odd. Is something wrong? <coughs> Take this. The stasis hollow. Why? Question my gift. I question your motives. Why does the Lord of Hollows continue to weaponize one of the Four Horsemen? For what purpose? Remain on your path. In time, perhaps you will find your truth. That would be a fine surprise indeed. And in the meantime, more toys for me to play with? Horsemen, in our next encounter, only one of us will survive. Cryptic. Harley. You help me, then you threaten me? Be gone. You seem distracted, mistress. That Lord of Hollows is vexing. That's one word for it. Only one will survive? Do you think he's helped us this far only to betray me? I'm sure I don't know. Relationships between the Eternal Ones are as confusing and convoluted as they come. I can't keep track. Oh, you're a great help. Perhaps the Lord of Hollows is attempting to manipulate you in some way. Rattle you. Or he's gone utterly insane like the rest of this stinking world. He wasn't looking his best, was he? No, he certainly was not. Enough. Time to focus on the mission. <laughs> if you say so, mistress. The Scar. Another vacation spot? There is something familiar about this place. One of the sins is nearby. He and I have unfinished business. Wrath is here? Not for long. You seem... different, mistress. Even if we stop the Seven, this world will be torn apart. For what? There will be a reckoning. I'm just not sure from where it will come. For all of their achievements, humans were outmatched in the Apocalypse. Their civilization is now mere fodder for demons. They truly were a pathetic species. But there are shades of intelligence in their monuments. Have the humans grown on you, mistress? Hardly. I pity their hubris. They believed they could control this world's destiny. Still, these towers are impressively ambitious. As if they were reaching upwards, looking for purpose in the heavens. What irony they were consumed by hell. Indeed. Look there. Do you feel that? The vibrations of power that emanate from it. No, but feeling isn't my strong suit. That said, I would recommend avoiding it. Why? If I may be blunt, what brews within is not part of your mission. Interesting. Congratulations on your victory, mistress. I hope it was worth risking everything. Did you hear it? I heard only your screams and a monster died. Perhaps. Or perhaps the universe holds much more mystery than I ever imagined. What does that mean, mistress? I detest philosophy. We're safe for now, but you're an idiot if you think anything ahead will be easy. 
Are you ready for another round with Wrath, Mistress? Second and last. I owe him a proper beating. <laughs> The apocalypse would have so many elevators. Ah, must you fill the silence with your chatter? Are you suggesting the Great Fury does not enjoy the pleasure of my company? Pleasure is not the word I use. You wound me, mistress. Have I not been the voice of guidance on this mission? <sighs> I will admit, you are not completely useless. You flatter me, mistress. Don't get used to it. Sounds like a terrible battle. Which means we'll be running headlong towards it? <laughs> You're learning! the assistance. Watching, not speaking. Huh. We're all learning something on this little sojourn. Confidence suits you. And earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. 
You're smart enough to know that someone, somewhere, has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world direction, order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Nothing accomplished your whole miserable life in the past that I have built. And you are to try and best me. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress. The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See? Your counsel betrays you. Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! No! Is it not? You know what else I envy? Your power! And thanks to our mutual benefactors, that power is mine! <laughs> Pride had it right. The Charred Council set you up. They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> jealousy, self jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horsemen, became both my sword and my shield.
With the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? Just speak to me like this. Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I'm not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I... have learned... that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, Human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthe. You'll see. It's, uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing. But it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you. Will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you're to stop envy and unseat your former masters. Forgotten how to fight! 
Dare attack this holy site! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this even sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons! And you have no one but yourselves to thank for! Your lust for power will be your undoing envy. Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine. It's over, Envy! You have failed! Kill her, horsemen! We command! Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough! Blasphemy! Trim! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs> Seriously? No, but it was worth a shot. your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not. Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horsemen. You shall be punished along with your brothers like the impudent child you are. like this. I will not allow your corruption to spread! Enraged. No doubt fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan, for them... The time is now. 
Heaven, Hell, the Chard Council, they wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the Apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you with false promises and wars and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war. Look around you. This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight a war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell? The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? Any time to shuttle the other humans away. Away? To where? Not back to the council chamber. What sort of a beaker would it be if I built a doorway that only connected two places, eh? <laughs> Your heart's desire, horseman. A safe place for a poor unwanted. Yeah, I don't understand. Aye, well, you will. Sadly, you will understand it all as you travel with them. <sighs> Me? They are in need of a protector, and you need a new purpose. Am I wrong? Powers in my possession to protect humanity, and one day we will set things right together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. Aye. Safe travels, horseman. Of no concern. 
Abaddon rules over the Earth. Heaven and Hell scramble to take their place at the table. And the Council? <laughs> the Council works against the very balance they profess to uphold. Soon, corruption will overtake them all. And only I shall remain. You <laughs> may go.